Hey guys, welcome to our channel Learn to Win. Today we will discuss about radioactivity and half-life related problems. After this video, you will get to know about half-life related problems. If you still have any doubt, you can write your question in the comment section. So let's start. Half-life means the time after which the remaining amount will be half of its previous amount. So its formula is T half equal to 0.693 by lambda where lambda is the decay constant and T half is the half life. There is one more formula that is N0 by N equal to 2 to the power small n. N0 is the initial amount, N is the final amount and small n is the number of half lives. Now let us do some examples. So example number one is in 8000 year a radioactive substance reduces to 1 by 32th part determined its half half life. So 1 by 32 is 1 by 2 to the power 5. So according to question n by n0 is 1 by 2 to the power 5. So n0 by n is 2 to the power 5. Now that is equal to 2 to the power small n. So number of half lives is 5. So 5 half life is equal to 8000 years. 1 half life is equal to then 1600 year. This is how we can solve these type of problems. Let's, let us uh, take one more example. Half-life of thorium is 1.5 into 10 to the power 10 year. After how much time it will be reduced to 25% of its initial volume. So n by n0 is 25% that means 25 by 100. That means 1 by 4 that is equal to 1 by 2 square. So n0 by n is 2 square. Now according to this formula n0 by n is 2 to the power small n so small n equal to 2 so number of half lives is 2 now one half life is 1.5 into 10 to the power 10 year so two half life is 1.5 into 10 to the power 10 into 2 years that will be equal to 10 to the power 10 year so it will take 3 into 10 to the power 10 year to be reduced to 25% of its initial volume. So that's all. If you like this video, please like hit button below. For more updates and videos, please subscribe our channel Learn to Win. Click the bell icon for notifications. Never miss another update from Learn to Win. Have a nice day. Thank you.